Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Ravilla Design. Today I am with you with a very beautiful, very enjoyable project. We are going to make this gorgeous crochet Christmas squares vintage style with granny squares. I really loved it. It is gorgeous, dear friends. Like this. For this project we need 22 granny squares like this. Before making this video, I made this crochet Christmas stocking uh, with this color combination and in this video we are going to make this color combination turn. It is really so enjoyable dear friends. You are just making the squares and then we are uh, sewing up with needle all the squares. Later on we are making some double crochet rows like this and then we are making the hang it's becoming gorgeous vintage style granny square christmas stockings okay dear friends let's go on how to make this meanwhile please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials thank you so much let's go on how to make this first of all we are going to make the granny squares. Now I will show you how we are going to make this granny square. Later on you are going to make totally 22 pieces of granny squares exactly like this. Okay, we are starting. For this project we need three different colors. These are cotton yarn, dear friends. If you like, you can uh, make this with baby woolen yarn or normal woolen yarn but I made it with cotton yarn and according to me cotton yarn it's been beautiful if you are going to make the main color with green color uh, you need uh, about 100 gram ball with green color 100 gram ball with white color and 50 gram with red color but of course you are not going to finish when you come to the end some yarn are remaining like this and if you are going to make the main color with red color then you should buy 100 gram ball uh, with red color 100 gram ball with white color and 50 gram with uh, green color like this as i told you when you finish it the yarns are not finishing totally but i bought the yarns in these grams for example these are my remaining yarn from the project i crochet of course before making this video I made 21 uh, granny squares like this totally and now we are going to make uh, the last one with you it will be totally 22 granny squares okay dear friends we are starting since the center is red we are starting with red color I'm taking my red yarn in my hand and I am starting with magic ring like this I'm making magic ring Okay, I'm keeping here three chains one two three I am considering these three chains as double crochet one and in this circle I am making double crochet two double crochet three one block one cluster finished like this I'm making two chains yarn over coming to the center making three double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and double crochet three like this okay two chains one two yarn over coming to the center making three double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and double crochet one moment three okay like this and two chains one two yarn over coming to the center again and making three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three okay like this one two three four blocks four clusters we made i am pulling the yarn end magic ring end i mean 
and I'm inserting my hook on top of the first three chains like this okay yarn over pull through slip stitch making one chain the first round finished like this now I am cutting the yarn yes dear friends we finished round one now we are going to make round two with white color I'm taking the white color in my hand first of all I'm making a slip knot like this yarn over I'm inserting my hook through any space here here there are four spaces these are corner spaces yarn over I'm inserting my hook through any space and first of all I'm making a double crochet I'm doing double crochet like this this is one this is two and this is three one chain I am coming to the following space making three double crochet firstly this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and double crochet three two chains and inserting my hook through the same space making three more double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and double crochet three okay this is also the corner but we made half of the corner when starting we made the full corner here we are going to make full corner also here and here and when we come to the end of this round we are going to make three more double crochet and two chains and we will complete this as a full corner okay dear friends in order to come to this following space I am making one chain yarn over coming to this following space inserting my hook in there three double crochet firstly this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three okay like this two chains one two yarn over I am inserting my hook through the same space three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one chain coming to the following space three double crochet firstly this is two and this is three okay two chains one two coming to the same space three more double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three one chain coming to this space making three double crochet firstly this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three one two chains I'm inserting my hook on top of this first double crochet yarn over pull through slip stitch the second round finished like this I am making one chain to fix the yarn and cutting the yarn okay we finished round two now we are on the round three round three and round four will be with the same color if you are going to make the same color turn we are then we are going to start with green color I'm taking my green color in my hand first of all I'm starting with slip knot okay yarn over again I'm starting through any corner space it is no important which corner space you start you can start here here or here doesn't matter I made yarn over inserting my hook through this space first of all I am making a double crochet this is double crochet one and this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three when starting we are always starting with 
half uh, corner with, uh, by making three double crochets. Later on, when we come all around, when we finish this round, and when we come to the end, we will complete this uh, by making three double crochet and two chains. We are doing this in order to give a very neatly look of our granny square. Okay, now we are making one chain. Only in the corner spaces we are making two chains. On the sides for the spaces we are making only one chain. For this reason I made one chain because we are in the side and coming to this following space making three double crochet. In the sides we are making only three double crochet. Okay, now we are making one chain, coming to the following corner space. First of all, we are making three double crochet, one, two, and three. Since we are in the corner, making two chains. In the corner spaces, we are always making two chains. Yarn over, inserting my hook through here. And one, two, and three, like this. One chain coming to this space, three double crochet, one, two, and three. One chain coming to this following space, first of all. Three double crochet, one, two, and three, two chains, yarn over, inserting my hook through the same space, and three double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. One chain, coming to this space, three double crochet. This is double crochet, one, this is double crochet two and double crochet three. One chain. Coming to the following space again, making three double crochet. This is double crochet one. This is two. This is three. Two chains one, two. Coming to the same space again here, making three more double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. One chain, yarn over, coming to this following space here, and we are making three double crochet. This is double crochet one, this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three one chain yarn over coming to this space three double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one two chains now I am inserting my hook on top of this first double crochet, yarn over, pull through, slip stitch. This round completely finished. One, two, three, four chains. And inserting my hook through this corner space. Here, inserting my hook and I am making a double crochet. It's been double crochet two inserting my hook through the same space, it's been three. We are going on with the same color. One chain coming to the same space, making three double crochet, one, two, and three. One chain coming to the following space and three double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. One chain coming to the corner. First of all, making three double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. 
two chains inserting my hook through the same space three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one chain coming to the following space three double crochet this is double crochet one this is two and this is three one chain yarn over coming to the following space making three double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one chain coming to the following space three double crochet firstly this is one this is two and this is three two chains yarn over inserting our hook through the same space making three more double crochet for the full corner okay like this we are completing all around we are coming to the end I came to the end of this round now I am making one chain yarn over coming to this space first of all making three double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and double crochet three okay two chains one two inserting our hook on top of the first double crochet yarn over pull through slip stitch making one chain and we are cutting the yarn we finished this round as well totally we made one two three four rounds now we are on the last round last round we will go on with white color but this time we will go on step by step stitch by stitch single crochet i'm taking the white yarn in my hand and first of all starting with slip knot like this and we are starting anywhere you can start anywhere let me start here single stitch go to the following stitch making a single stitch coming to the following stitch one single stitch now we are in this uh, space making one single stitch now coming to the following stitch making one single stitch coming to the following making one single stitch coming to the following making one single stitch now we are in this space one single stitch now we are coming to the following stitch making one single stitch as you see one by one we are making single stitches now we came to the space of the corner first of all we are making one single stitch one chain in order to give a pointy shape in the corner top and inserting our hook through the same corner space making one more single stitch now inserting our hook through the following stitch one single stitch going to the following stitch one single stitch going to the following stitch one single stitch coming to the space one single stitch okay like this we are finishing this round one by one we are making one single stitch when we come to the spaces we are also making one single stitch when we come to the corner space here in the spaces here we are making one single stitch one chain and one single stitch later on the other going on always one by one single stitches like this we are finishing this round dear friends I came to the end of this round there is only one space left inserting my hook in there making a single stitch now I am inserting my hook through the first single stitch yarn over pull to row slip stitch it is finished I'm making one chain and cutting the yarn yes dear friends we finished our granny square now we are going to clean all the yarn ends I'm taking my darning needle in my hand this is the yarn end from the center while hiding the yarn end from the magic ring I am 
pulling through the uh, darning needle through the back stitches. Okay. Yes, like this. I am turning back in order to fix well. Now I am going to make a knot. Okay, I made the knot in order to fix it. Only in the magic ring I am doing this. The others I am not making knot. Now I am going to hide the other yarn ends. When hiding the other yarn ends, since the yarn ends are short, I am going to use small size hook. This is one and a half millimeter hook. When you hide the yarn ends using, using small size hook is easier for you. You can easily slide the yarn ends through the stitches like this. But if you don't have a small size hook, it is no matter. You can go on with the same hook that you already crochet. A few times I am doing this and at last I am cutting the rest. Okay, once again I will show you, for example, let's hide this white yarn ends. Again, I will hide it with a small size hook. One moment. Okay, cutting the yarn. Yes, like this we are cleaning all the yarn ends. Yes, I cleaned all the yarn ends. This is the back side, this is the front side. Yes, dear friends, like this you are going to make totally 22 granny squares. Later on, when you finish all the granny squares, the only thing we are going to make is to place the granny squares for a stocking and uh, sewing up with a needle. First of all, let's complete, let's finish totally 22 granny squares. If you complete 22 granny squares, now I am going to show you how we are going to place it uh, for a stocking, how we are going to sew it up. First of all, we will start sewing up, we will start joining the squares to each other from the foot side. Later on, we will make, we will complete the legs, leg part. Firstly, we are starting how we are going to place, how we are going to sew the foot side. As you see here in the foot part, there are one, two, three, four granny squares uh, in the front part and also one, two, three, four granny squares in the other part. And this one from the upper foot, one uh, piece and one piece from the heel part. And totally in the foot part, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Totally ten granny squares we need for the foot part. Okay, now we are going to place it in the same way how I placed on this stocking. First of all, two granny squares I'm placing and then two more granny squares. One moment. Like this. We are going to do it. You can take a screenshot and you can sew up like this. First of all, we are sewing up from here up to down and then like this and then like this. How we are going to sew up? I made a white yarn and with a needle and I made a knot at the edge like this. I am taking from the center of this one, two, three stitch. Let me show you like this. As you see in the corner, one, two, three stitch you, you see. I am inserting my hook through the second one of the stitch in the middle in the corner and pull through. Now 
I am taking the other uh, square. We will join them to each other. How we are going to do it? I will also insert my hook through the second stitch of the corner as you see here. Look, one, two, three stitch here. Inserting my hook through the second one of this corner like this and pull through. Like this. Okay, I am inserting my hook through the other square. From now on, one by one, stitch by stitch, we will go on from up to down. Look, which stitch I am inserting my hook through the same stitch I am inserting my hook for both squares, like this. I am going to the following stitch, going to the following stitch, to the other motif, stitch by stitch, one by one, we will do it. Okay, like this, we are coming to the end. As you see, I sew up these two motifs from up to down. In which stitch I insert my needle through the same stitch I insert it also at the other side. Like this, one by one, inserting our needle in the same stitches, I finished uh, sewing up. I came here and I will go on sewing this time like this. Like this, I will go on sewing up. Yes, I am taking this square in my hand. You see, there are three stitches in the corner. This is one, this is two, this is three. Inserting my hook from back to front through the second stitch, through the stitch in the middle in the corner. And like this, I am joining this one to the uppers. Okay, like this. Now, I am coming to the following stitch of this motif. This is the second stitch in the corner. Okay, now we can go on step by step sewing up like this. What we are doing, I am going to the third stitch of the corner. I am going to the third stitch of the corner of the other motif. The same stitches. Uh, it is important to go on step by step. If we do this, uh, it will be uh, neatly. Look, I am going to the following stitch and through the same stitch, going to the other motif like this. And sewing up. I am going to the following stitch and through the following stitch of the other motif. Okay, like this, sewing up. Once again, I will show you. I am going to the following stitch and going to the following stitch uh, of the other motif, like this. And one moment, sewing up. Yes, dear friends, like this, we are sewing till the end of the, these sides. Yes, I sew up also this side. Now I am in the corner. Also uh, I sew up the first uh, stitches of the corner. Now I will also sew up the second stitches of the corner, both corners like this. And I am completely finishing sewing up these sides. Yes, dear friends, we sew up like this, like this, and now 
we are going to sew up these two squares to each other from up to down. How we are going to do it? Now we are in the uh, second stitch of the corner. I am now inserting my needle through the second stitch of this one once again because we are going to join this one to this one. For this reason, uh, I transferred the yarn from the upper corner to this one. Now, what we are doing from the second stitch, look, there are one, two, three stitches in the corner. Inserting my hook through the second one and like this, we are going to join these two motifs like this, stitch by stitch. Okay, how we are doing? I'm inserting my hook through the following stitch and also through the same stitch of the other corner. These are the uh, stitch three of the corner. Okay, like this stitch by stitch I will insert from one uh, square to the other stitch by stitch I am going one moment Yes, dear friends, like this, stitch by stitch, we are going on. Okay, okay, let's go on sewing up till these uh, both corners, from up to down, we are going on sewing up. Yes, I sew up till down. Now I am in the second stitch of both corners. I am coming to the back. I will fix the yarn because uh, sewing up finished for now. Making a knot and cutting the yarn. Yes, dear friends, we sew up some parts. Now what we are going to do, we are going to sew up this one, but we will fold it like this as a triangle. This will be the heel part of the stocking and we are going to sew up also another part here. This will also be folded as a triangle shape and this one will be the uh, upper side of the foot like this. How we are going to sew up? I am turning it as a full square from this one like this to this one to this square. Firstly, I'm sewing up and then till down, I'm sewing up these sides. Uh, the sewing up style is the same how we exactly sew up these. For this reason, again and again, I'm not going to show. I'm just telling you, sew up. One moment, let me show you. Sew up, starting from this uh, side, come to this corner and then uh, from up to down uh, with these uh, uh, squares. Let's sew up as I showed you, dear friends. Okay, I sew up these two squares from right to left. Now I am in the corner place here. I am going to show you how we are going to close this corner. Look, dear friends, I am inserting my hook through the stitch one. Of the corner stitch here stitch one going to the following stitch of this corner and pull to row and in order to fix also here I am going to the corner stitch of the other uh, motif here like this and I am coming to the second two of this motif like this pulling Okay, as you see, it is totally closed to the center. Now we can go to the side. Let me show you like this. 
we joined the corner tightly and then we are going to sew up these two sides step by step, stitch by stitch like this going to the following stitch following stitch of the other uh, square okay like this step by step we are going on okay like this yes dear friends we are sewing up from up to down as i showed you as you see i sew up from up to down now i am inserting my hook through the second stitch of the corner okay in order to sew up well now I am turning to the other side and in the back side I am fixing the yarn because for now we finished sewing. What we did, we uh, sew up the heel part. Normally it will be like this. Okay, now what we are going to do. We are going to sew up also here these two motifs from up to down and then till this side. These sides we will sew up. We will join the corners as I showed you here in this uh, corner. Tightly uh, sew up in the corner. There should be no space. Uh, if, you, if needed, uh, you can sew up uh, more than one time two or three times you can sew up uh, so that you can make it neatly like this. As you see in the corner uh, joining there is no space. For this reason uh, if you sew up one time and if you see some uh, space in the corner make uh, sew it up uh, a few times more. Okay these two motifs side to side and then side to side like this. You are sewing up Yes, I sew up till the end of this side. I am at the end. Now I am inserting my hook through the stitch two, like this, pulling tightly, turning to the back, and I will fix the yarn in the back side. Making a knot because this is finished at the side. Yes, dear friends, what we did, we finished the front part of the foot. One side of the foot, I mean. It will be like this. This side completely finished. We are going to sew up also this side in the same way. For this reason, we are going to sew up like this and then like this how we are going to go on sewing up we can go on sewing up first the, these two motifs and then like this and then like this i mean i am taking this out it will be like this dear friends okay like this these two sides and then these two sides and then these two sides we are sewing up Yes, I finished sewing up like this and this way I sew up. I am here now. From now on what we are going to do, look, we made this one. We are turning it and folding it from here like this and I am placing it on this, like this. And I am not cutting the yarn. This will be the sole of the foot. This will be the upper part of the foot. Firstly, I will go on here, this motif to this one, like this, and then this side to this one, this side to this one, like this. I will sew up till here. But since this is the upper part of the foot, I am not sewing up here. This will be open, of course, but like this here, and then here, like this, we are sewing up. As you see, I sew up these two parts, this one. Now I will sew up this uh, half square like this. When we fold it, this look as a half square. 
now from this one to up and then this one and later on till here I'm going to sew up okay sew up uh, as I showed you dear friends yes dear friends I sew up like this till here till up and from now on you see this uh, place is not uh, being sewed I will go on from here like this like this and I will uh, sew up these two sides later on these two sides and the sewing of the uh, shoe place uh, foot place will be completely uh, finished first of all we are sewing up these two squares and then coming here hop all around we are sewing up these two squares till here later on we are folding this one and this side to this side sewing up later on this side to this side sewing up till up yes I sew up this part I am turning it to the other side as well as you see it's been a house sleeper big house sleeper like this the foot part the shoe part finished like this now in the same way we are going to uh, go on sewing the upper part the leg part let me show you here look we made this part here like this we made this part as you see this shoe part here we made it from now on we are going to make the upper part one two three four five six pieces of granny square in this side and six pieces of granny square from here six pieces from the other side the only thing we are going to sew up the upper part the leg part when we finish the leg part later on we will add this leg part to the shoe part in the leg part totally uh, there are 12 uh, granny squares six pieces of uh, here six pieces in the other side there are totally 12 pieces of granny squares dear friends first of all you are going to sew up six pieces of granny squares when you finish sewing up this one you are going to sew up six more for the other side of the leg part like this let me show you it is better yes first of all you are going to sew up this six part you can sew up like this firstly and then you can sew up like this later on you are going to sew up in the same way the other six part when you finish these both parts later on you are going to sew up them from up to down and you will completely finish it when you sew up like this at the end this will be completely finished then you are going to fold this let's consider these are sewing up already like this we are going to fold it later on and when we fold it one side will be unsewed for this reason we are going to sew up the unsolved uh, the open part the unsolved part and when we finished sewing up these totally then we are going to add one moment then we are going to add this shoe part this shoe part to the upper part we are going to add all around and uh, it is it's going to be mainly finished later on we are going to make this upper part with double crochets and then we are going to make the hang part and it will be completely finished first of all you are going to sew up these in two parts like this in two parts you are going to sew up first of all this part you are going to sew up from up to down and then the sides later on you are coming here you are sewing up up to down and these sides later on after you finish sewing up these two parts we are you are joining these this side to each other later on you are folding it and you are sewing up this side after folding okay 
when you uh, sew up also the open part after folding you are adding the uh, down part below part to the shoe and it will be mainly finished yes dear friends I sew up these two parts like this and also this one now I will sew up these two parts from up to down these two sides I am going to sew up with yarn and needle I showed you how to sew up in the previous minutes of the video when sewing up the shoe part for this reason I don't want to show it again and again with needle and yarn I am sewing up from here to down and these two parts will be joined to each other yes as you see I joined these two parts here from here up to down it's been like this now I am folding it like this I'm folding look and this time I am going to sew up these two sides from up all to down from here to down I will join these two sides to each other I sew up also this side it's been like this okay it's been like this now we are going to join the upper part with the shoe part with the uh, foot part like this how we are going to do is from this side with this side we are going to join firstly look like this we are putting them we are joining like this all over we are turning to the back and these two motifs with these two motifs we are going to join like this uh, we are sewing up and we are finishing joining these motifs like this I sew up the leg part to the foot part from here all around like this it is mainly finished look like this dear friends it is mainly finished if you want it you can just make a hang here and you can use it like this but in my project we are going to make a few double crochet rounds for the upper part and after that we are going to make this hang and it will be completely finished okay we are starting the upper part I'm taking the yarn in my hand and first of all I am making a, a slip knot I'm starting anywhere for example here we can start yarn over I am inserting my hook through any stitch for example here I can insert my hook I'm making a double crochet I am coming to the following stitch making another double crochet coming here this place is a bit lower than the other look like this for this reason here in the middle I am going to make a triple crochet one two three like this uh, all the stitches will be in the same level coming to the following stitch here making another double crochet totally four stitches we made coming to the following stitch making a double crochet but in the fifth stitch we are making two times double crochet the upper part a bit uh, larger than the other part yarn over coming to the following stitch one double crochet coming to the following stitch this is double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four and in the fifth stitch we are making two double crochet this is double crochet one and this is double crochet two in the fifth stitch we are making two double crochet one two three four double crochet we made and in the fifth stitch we made two double crochet one two three four double crochet we made in the fifth stitch we made two double crochet like this we are making all around 
but when we come to the place that two motifs join to each other i mean here we are making one triple crochet like this we are finishing this round dear friends don't forget here in the place that two motifs join to each other here that two motifs join to each other here in this place and also here in this place you are going to make a triple crochet uh, for the others you are making double crochet just be careful about it and after making four stitches we are making two double crochet uh, in the fifth stitch like this we are completing this round dear friends i finished the first round it's been like this this upper part a bit larger than the motif size okay i am at the end and i'm inserting my hook on top of the first double crochet yarn over pull through slip stitch and this round finished completely now one two three chains from now on one by one we are going to make double crochet we are not increasing just one by one we are going on double crochets and there is no uh, triple crochet on this round the triple crochet was only in the first round in order to prevent any uh, lower level here now it is neatly as you see for this reason the only thing we are going to do in this round uh, just make double crochets one by one don't forget uh, we are not increasing in this side always one by one we are making double crochets yes dear friends we are going to finish this round and upper this round we are going to make one more double crochet round one by one from now on there is no increasing as i told you there will be totally three double crochet round this is double crochet round one and this is double crochet round two we are on the double crochet round two and we are going to make one round more there will be totally three double crochet round let's make totally three double crochet rounds dear friends yes i made totally three rounds with double crochet i'm at the end now i will join these two edges to each other i'm inserting my hook on top of the first double crochet yarn over pull through slip stitch the three rounds of double crochet totally uh, finished now as the last i will make a single crochet all around i'm making one chain going to the following stitch making a single crochet going to the following stitch making another single crochet like this one by one stitch by stitch we are going to make single crochet on the last round we are finishing this round like this dear friends with single crochet we are finishing this last round i finished the last single crochet round i am at the end making a slip stitch one chain and cutting the yarn i'm hiding this yarn end with a small size hook from the back side I am hiding yes I am cutting the rest that's enough you are hiding all the yarn ends in the back side like this dear friends this is the foot side this is the leg side this is the upper side this is the front of the foot this is the back side of the foot i am coming and here i am going to make a hang for this reason i am taking my yarn again in my hand and we are making this hang uh, at the back side right here i am inserting my hook in this place fixing the yarn like this okay now i am making some chains one two three four five six seven we are making uh, like this chains in the enough size i made totally 25 chains now i am going to make single crochet one by one on this chain i'm making one uh, chain and making a single crochet on the 25th chain Okay, 
I'm going to the following stitch making another single crochet going to the following stitch making another single crochet like this one by one we are going to make single crochet till the end okay let's go on making single crochet till the end of the chain dear friends till here I made totally 25 single crochet I am here at the end I'm inserting my hook through the uh, following single crochet yarn over pull through slip stitch like this I fix this to the stocking dear friends like this I'm making one chain I'm leaving uh, some yarn because I'm going to knit this for this reason I'm leaving some yarn cutting with the help of the darning needle I'm going to sew it up as a hang okay like this let me show you look it should be a hang for this reason I am folding it like this and sewing it up in the back side first of all taking this to the back side Okay, that's enough dear friends. I am making a knot and I am cutting the yarn. Later on I am hiding this in the back side. In the same way I am also hiding this one it is now completely finished let me show you like this yes it is completely finished dear friends yes dear friends we came to the end of another project video hope you like this project hope you love this Vintage style crochet Christmas stockings. I really enjoyed while making these. It is really gorgeous. It will be a very nice idea during Christmas time. Let me show you like this. The finished version. I will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials dear friends. If you like my crochet ideas, crochet projects, I kindly invite you to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. And please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the coming videos.